Hey there. Today I'm going to do, um, I'm calling it a chain pull. It's like a string pull, but I'm um, using chain instead of string. And this is the chain I'm going to be using today. Okay. Um, I've already prepared my canvas. I um, gessoed it. And I put a layer of black paint just mixed with a little bit of water um, and let it dry. I just wanted to make sure that um, when I do my uh, pour and everything, or my painting, that um, no canvas shows through. So that's why I'm now starting to paint. Paint the, paint the canvas with the, with whatever I wanted to use on the back. Um, and yeah, so and I let it dry. So um, what I'm doing is I'm going to put um, black on the background and I have bronze and I'm just going to streak bronze throughout the black just in small areas um, and then spread it with, uh, with this. I put and then I'm going to put white flowers on the top with the chain. So I, um, I use a uh, mix flow troll with my uh, paint and uh, my recipe as always will be in the description below the video and I'll have a list of the colors like what brand I use and then at the end of the video I will, um, you'll be able to see the dried results. I, w I wait till it's dried and then I film it and then I post it. So I'm going to start spreading the black on. I'm not going to put too much on. You need it a little bit thinner when you're doing the string pour pours or the ch especially the chain. Okay, what I'll do is I'll pause it <clears throat> and I'll come back once I've done this. It's going to take a little bit to start spreading it around and get the edges and that. So I will be back. Okay, so I spread the black on. <clears throat> now I'm going to add some bronze. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to dip that in there. I'm just going to maybe, in you know, certain spots, I'm just going to maybe drizzle a little bit. So now I'm going to get the chain, dip it in the white. Actually, I need that in there. You can see this good. So dip it right in there. Oops. 
It really, you wouldn't think so, but this, the chain really holds the paint. So as well as scraping it with a knife when it came out, I'm going to rub it with my fingers. And actually I rubbed it twice. Here it goes. Okay, and I pull. I have a little bucket of water beside me here, but I can rinse it off real quick. So I can reuse it. It's hot water and just a little bit of soap. And dry it off. It's ready to use again and I'm gonna put another one here and another one here So I will zoom in for you so you can see a bit a close up because I know it's far away because I did a long canvas this time. Okay, so I'll slowly lower it. Actually what I'll do is I'll pause it. Okay, so here is the close up of, of it. All right, so that's it for today. Um, I will um, let it dry and you'll be able to see the results at the end of this video. Okay, bye for now. Hello, I'm back. Um, well, this is dried. It's only taken overnight to dry. This is the next day. Dry smooth. I just want to show you uh, from far away. I'm 
this. I can just do this. And then from a close up. So it's pretty much stayed the same, same as it was yesterday. It hasn't changed at all. The only thing I might do, now my auto autofocus is on, but it's not there. The only thing I might do is I might touch up some of these big cells here. I might just add a little bit of uh, white paint in there so they're not so big. Uh, I don't know. I'll see. But anyway, turned out uh, pretty good. Yes. Please focus. There we go. Oh, no. Can't get too close, I guess. So it's dried really well. I really like it. And uh, so anyway, thank you, thank you again for watching. Um, if you guys like uh, my videos, you can hit the uh, bell and you'll be notified um, when I do another one, which probably won't be too long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.